estas duplas vai então logo disputar a final agendada para as 17h45 temos já uma equipa finalista que está a Senhoras e senhores, está na hora de conhecer a constituição das equipas Ladies and Gentlemen e This Time to Meet the Teams Em primeiro lugar, a equipa da arbitragem constituída por In First Place de Rapper Team Campus by Primeiro árbitro e First Rapper Christian Of Almeida Já é para o primeiro ponto da equipe da Rússia. A gente está a Rússia com vantagem nesta meia final. Sem dúvida, Daniel, para já então esta meia-final deste 
espírito na Tidbank, dois um, vantagem Rússia. Sacou para fora Duda. Responder agora, tiro para 4-2, o serviço é da número 1, Agatha, agora. Ficou na frente o ponto do Brasil. Brasil vai ter para o top 7 nesta altura. Exatamente dois pontos. Ao serviço a número 1 um do Brasil. A Guetá. Muito bem, a Rússia no primeiro set, 
Mateus do Sete. Que o classe esta número 1 da Rússia, Mateus Rosova. A fazer assim o décimo primeiro ponto para a Rússia, ao sete, serviço de Colomina. para a número 2 do Brasil, Duda. Two weeks ago in Hamburg, and they're looking here 
Brazil to get their own back against Russia. We went on to the next round to take that fifth place. Losing out the Australians, Taliqua Clancy, Maria Fey Artaccio, who are currently missing from the World Tour due to an injury to M. Fey. We wish her all the best. But she's back on the sand soon. Back to the line, Halamina just knuckling around. Fantastic result for the Australians. A third place in the World Championships and a first place in Warsaw at the last four-star event, which seems like some time ago now. From the left side, Russia. It's very tight. You can see the breeze blowing the ball onto the net. Makes it difficult to put the ball away. Dude. Just puts that one in the gravel pit. Hitting from off the net. Smooth operating though from Halamina. Ace from Russia. Once again, the end to the left of your picture proving to be the difference. Into the breeze, serving tough. Now it's Brazil. They're under the pressure again. Duda from the right side. Agatha's been served for large proportions of this one. That one's going to the grandstand. Brazil holding on here. This hasn't really been a season that Brazil have dominated like they have done previously in women's beach volleyball. They're not having anything their own way nowadays. But they would have expected to at least to get one team in the finals here this weekend. But so far, Russia are looking good. Oh, my days. The young Russian. Marco Grzova makes another block. Three-point game here as we head towards business time. Serving into the breeze due to the change of ends. It's another race. Russia running away with this opener here in Espino. The right side of Dude beaten again. The World Tour's most outstanding player in 2018, struggling in the wind. Time out from Brazil. Rebecca and Anna Patricia, the first seeds for this competition, losing out in the opening semi-final here in the breeze of Portugal. Sarah Sponsel, Kelly Kleiss, using the breeze slightly better off the Atlantic Ocean. If you look at where the teams train, the USA, train west coast of the USA, California. Mosa, Manhattan Beach having these big breezes in the afternoon. They dealt with the wind better. As we have a look at the gold medalist. Well, the team going for gold here today, Kleiss and Sponsel. Duda, Hammer, game on. They still have some work to do, though. Passing in system. Russia, who have been steady so far. It's a great set. Macro goes over, extends well through to find Halamina. She stays patient behind the ball. Come under pressure. And Russia, who beat this Brazilian team in Hamburg to send them home, are looking to put them in the bronze medal game again here. 
Back on one good read, Duda sides out again. Interesting concept here. The ends have changed, so Brazil now playing into the breeze. Three behind, but at crunch time, two ball, no dummy from Russia. Chance to go back to the line, seen from Duda. This is huge in the context of this one. And it's put away from Duda, we're back to two. Still so much work to do here for Russia. Right side work, Kalamina finds the sack. And now it's set point for Russia. They go after Agatha again from that far end, dropping inside. Great defense from Halamina. Chance to go over. It's a bumped ball, but it's so high. Difficult to track in these wins. Right side this time. Agatha to the line. It's good. Very good. Safe. Ball travels across the wrist away to the sideline. Looking to go on two here, Russia. Second time of asking. They take the opening set. And there's the macro goes over. Svetlana Halomina from Russia. Fifth of the World Championships two weeks ago, a ninth in Kostad last week. Now they're looking to upset the Brazilians and go for gold here. Well, there's confirmation of the opening set here in the semis. Russia have beaten Brazil by three. There's a long way left in this game, that's for sure, in these conditions. So much ball still to be played. Well, the stats for the opening set, more service pressure by the looks of it from Russia on the stats board. Two aces on Duda, key more attacks from Brazil though. Huge moments coming our way here on the FIVB Beach Volleyballing World Tour. Big events week after week at the moment. Hamburg through Stad. Now to Portugal before we go on to Tokyo and Vienna. 800 points the winner of this competition takes home. It's a third less than last week, the beach majors in Gestad, but it's another big opportunity for these teams trying to get to an Olympic Games. Alamina. Good vision. Works past the block. Ace from Russia as well for a team. And there's the Macro Gazova, Svelana, Kolomina. That was their first World Championships together. Back in hand, but they took a fifth, two aces in a row as well. They're looking so good. Macro Gazova was 33rd in Vienna in 2017 at the World Champions. Katarina Belova. But both Russian players are taking Brazil apart here on centre court in Espino. Better from Duda. The Russian team who have been playing together for 2018, this would be one of their biggest results so far. They won that gold medal in Anapa. That same season, they won back to back under world, sorry, world under 21 championships in 2016 and 17. 
And also, consecutive golds in the European Championships at under 22 level. They have their pedigree, that's for sure, but they're looking like they might just beat the World Tour champions from last year. Agatha palms it off. What a run of serves this is. Svelana, Halomina. Producing the goods here in the breeze. Back to the left side of Agatha. She's really struggling. The Olympic silver medalist chasing everything down. What a dig that is from Halimina. Second opportunity from the left side. Wide from Agatha. Running away here, Russia. They really are. What a dig that is. Flying to the right side, the Russian Halimina. Errors coming from Brazil. They've won the bad end, 6-1 to start this second set off. Staying on Agatha, a Russia. No net touch. The net's moving everywhere in the breeze. High knuckle from Halimina. Opportunity from off the net, working to the line. The break from Russia is good. They have an opportunity here. They open up. A six-point lead. Super spike leading to a timeout from Brazil because this is un-Brazilian behavior in this sport for sure. It's just crazy for Brazil. They need to be making final fours at least every single team. When you look at where Brazilian volleyball is at at the moment, Becca and Patricia currently the top seeded team for this competition, but also top of the Olympic rankings for Brazil. Agatha Duda will go into second in the Olympic rankings after this result because Maria Antonelli and Carol last week took a second in Gestad, so they took that second berth for the Olympics away from Agatha and Duda, but they had such a big week last week, and it shows again when you come to a competition. And they might have finished second, Maria Antonelli and Carol in Gestad, but they had to play in the country quota, so they had to qualify from Brazil to even represent Brazil in the qualification this week, because there's so many teams from Brazil that want to compete and play. So they went from coming second in one of the biggest competitions in the year in Switzerland to not even making the qualification rounds this week. Maria Antonelli and Carol. So that's been a big advantage for Agatha and Duda. They made the most of it, really, making this final four. But they're not making the most of the final four so far. The run of serves finally comes to an end. Only the second point of the set for Russia. They've just beaten the ball from the baseline. Brazil struggling, but now they fight back. And you never know. Stranger things have happened at sea. That's one back for Brazil, but although well, Lightning doesn't strike twice, a miss serve. Dropping inside. <laughs> miss serve, though, from Russia as well. <laughs> Top 15 will qualify for the Olympic Games in Tokyo. More qualification spots available. The world champions, Sarah Pavin and Melissa, already there after winning the world championships in Hamburg two weeks ago. That's a rip. From Brazil, dude, flying through that one.
another miss serve. Change events just causing a disruption in rhythm mentally. But Brazil have to make the most of serving from that end into the breeze. They really have to. Russia have made the most of serving with the breeze behind them as well at times. Off the body. Agatha controlling the game square on. So she almost tells the defender that she's going to the line before whipping the wrist around the ball. The world ranking shows Alex Kleiman and April Ross at the top after winning in Kostad last week. Anna Patricia and Rebecca second. They will look like they will keep their place at second as well this week. Chasing down. Halamina is doing real damage running around everywhere. The Russians 15th currently in the world rankings. Level with Marketa Slakova and Barbara Hermanova. Brazil knocking on the door again, though. It's a long way back, but 7-10 is far better than it was at 8-2 earlier on. Another one for Russia. Slakova, Hermanova from the Czech Republic not having their best season this year. No final fours for them, a team that were really competitive, really playing with confidence last year. World Tour Finals. They played really well as well, but the World Tour Finals last year was won by this Brazilian team. They're experienced and they're getting back into this one. Chance again on the turn, Agatha. High defensive plays from Halamina. She's making lots of digs out there, but you just feel like Brazil are back in business here. They were seven points down in this set. Now they're back to two. Knocking, knocking on the door. Duda, Agatha. Cover strong, over on one, high over the top. What a game. And it shows because of the breeze again, there's a good end into the wind. Brazil are taking the initiative again here, making the most of the conditions. Technical timeout comes around, it's a one point game. So leading 8-1, Russia have really let that lead slip, and Brazil, well, they need to come back to take this to a third, but they're never defeated, are they, Brazil? Indoor, beach volleyball, doesn't matter. You can never count them out. When looking at the Provisional Olympic rankings, Anna Patricia Rebecca is still top of that, even though Kleiman and Ross are top of the world rankings. That's just because we look at glorious coast of Espina. The world rankings are different there from the past 365 days. The Olympic rankings only started in September, and they go until June the 14th next year. That's when we will know who's going to Tokyo for certain. Russia side out. They go back to the good end and they find Sad. This is the top Russian team when it comes to the Olympic rankings as well. 15th in the world. Seventeenth overall on the Olympic ranking, so really the points here will see them through up above Larson Stockman from the USA. Stuba Van Erzel, it's a big result for them. Clash and sponsor were just in if the Olympic rankings were finalized today, but a win or even their silver medal 
and their world ranking points. We'll see them home. What some rally. Just making the dig. Holomina, that's tight from Brazil. It should be Russia's point. No, still can't be put away. Chance on the turn. Both teams fighting hard. Russia have still got their two point lead here. But remember, it was seven being clawed back all the time. The serve creeps in. Something we're seeing a fair amount of today in these breezes is the odd error creeping in. It's difficult to control the ball, but also difficult to control the serve. Alamina looking to run the back set. Moving Agatha stays high over the hands. Touch off the block. This good end into the breeze is proving to be a thorn in the side of Brazil again. Another miss serve, costly. Macro goes over. Has really performed well throughout this competition, but look who's serving. Brazil back in the game, 2018 most outstanding player, dude. There you have it. Smooth reply, Svetlana, Halomina. 29 tournaments for her. And the future is so bright for this Russian side. Whether today is their day or not, they're improving all the time. It's another service error. And that's got to be frustrating for them. They've had Brazil on the ropes. They've had a seven-point lead, and now it's back to 15 all. Just when you think you see everything in this game, something else pops up and surprises you. On the back set, Agatha! It's a monster block, and why not? Because from eight one down, trailing by seven, Agatha Duda. Take the lead here. Surprising stuff. But I guess you don't win the World Tour Finals in this game unless you can come back from seven behind at times. Agatha Olympic. Silver medalist as well from Rio. Producing the goods, blocking well. The crowd embracing beach volleyball as well. That's what we like to see. E uma salva de palmas para o Daniel Santos, esse speaker diretamente do Brasil. Para a este espírito para a Ativa 2019. Real big opportunity today. For all teams pushing for more ranking points, but for Russia and the USA, certainly to make the finals, to take home a gold is a key opportunity. Crucial timeout has given the rest and the break mentally that Russia needed. One would feel that they would have to take it in this set after winning the opener. Agatha chips away back angle. Seen from Halamine, a massive play. Russia take the lead again. Agatha can only continue the play, working wrist away from the ball on a sharp angle. Halamina buries it back. 
It's another miss serve. There's the Marco Gazova. We've seen a serve in the net a few times. Six foot one, one meter 86, now being served to the center, running to the pin, having a look, stays high over the block because that's how big she really is. She can go over Agatha. Second opportunity from Russia, tight setting though. Put straight down the side of Brazil. Agatha has a look through the net. Think there's a net touch here from Russia. Not given from the referee. Potentially on the way down. Certainly went underneath the net there. Alamina. This is going to give us a much better look. Maybe. Just maybe. Agatha now passing off the net. This is a chance to go two up, really, if they can make a dig here. They do make a dig, Russia. Chance to go two in front and open up the lead again, and they have. Marco goes over, gets off really quick, stays high and snaps to the line. The retreating block of Agatha, not back, still in time. Remember, Brazil was seven down in this set. They've got all the way back in. Agatha needing desperately. Shows a little bit of angle in her approach with her upper body. Dead chips the line. Big side out for Russia, this. They side out, they have two match points. From the left side, there it is. Likes the width of the set. Macro goes over. Hammers off the block because Agatha has to move to get her line. First match point for Russia to seal their place in the gold medal match against the USA. Chance from the good end. Halamina stays high. Duda, it's a real tense touch and it's taken by Russia. They are going places that they have never seen before on the FIVB World Tour. And that's to a four-star final. A gold medal match against the USA and Kelly Kleiss and Sarah Sponsel. They beat in the 2018 World Tour champions in Agatha and Duda. They are through to the final later on. It will be Brazil versus Brazil for bronze. There's the confirmation. 21-18, 21-18. Russia have beaten Brazil. Wow. The form book would have said that Brazil, Brazil would be playing for gold today, but no. They are playing for bronze. And for the Russian pairing, they have been so successful at junior level, they are making strides at senior level now as well. The crowd treated to a really intense affair. Seven points up, Russia, in the second set. They opened the door for Brazil. Brazil did not want to take the opportunity and walk through that door. They gave the game right back to the Russians. 21 and 22 years old. This was how the game was put to bed. Alamina, who's been making defensive plays all day. Tense touch from Duda. Sign sealed, delivered for the Russians. Some shots as we look to go down court side in just a moment to hear from our winners from Russia. And they should be so, so happy and pleased with themselves. Let's hear from them. How was this match? Where was the secret? Our secret is uh, my partner for me <laughs> because we play so very friendly. And oh my God. <laughs> 
this is a secret. Uh, uh, how was uh, this match? Mm, for us, this uh, very emotions match, perfect. I think because we play with this uh, team on the World Championship and we wait this match again. This because the Brazil is a perfect team. Expectations for the final? <laughs> Sorry, she she understands but don't speak. She's so happy because we're in the final. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Con Thank congratulations. You. Russia very, very happy with the way they played out there today. So they should be. They've beaten one of the best teams in the world and the number three seeds of Agatha and Duda, a team that have been so successful at underage competitions. Back-to-back -back silvers at under-21 World Championships in 2016 and 2017. Winners at European Championships in 17 and 18 as well at under-22 level. Now they've beaten Brazil by two sets to zero. 21-18, 21-18. Well, there are the match statistics for the game. The sets at the top, the most crucial one of all, but more aces, more attacks from Brazil. Errors, more from the Brazilians, that's costly, but more digs on the backcourt from Halamina, proving to be the difference. Who will take gold is the question. We're gonna have a look at some highlights of what was a really, really interesting game here in Espino. of a memorable game for Russia. They qualified to play the USA for gold. It'll be Brazil, Brazil for bronze. That's all we've got time for from Espino. From us, it's goodbye for now.